You know, my problem is I don't know. I don't get to audition anymore. It's just like you know, it's been like just, offers, but I don't get offers necessarily that I want. I mean, I just get a lot of offers, but a lot of them I pass on. But so, have you, do you sometimes like if Scorsese wanted you to audition, are you going to? I have. I yeah. auditioned for Scorsese, and he wound up. We wound up talking. I went to audition for him at the Directors Guild in New York City. I did a. I did the table read. It was so. To get this. I go in, I talk to, I talk to Scorsese at the director's guild for an hour. We wound up talking about our pediatrician. We had the same pediatricians. So I get a call from my agent. They go, Hey, uh, Marty. I'm like, Marty who? They go, Martin Scorsese wants you to come and do the table read for The Irishman. It's a script by Steve Zaley. And I said, I know what the script is. You know the movie, The Irishman. Right? He's in it. Yeah, you're in it. You're in it. I just watched it again. That's right. You're in it. And then I just watched you again with De Niro, and uh, which was, I'm like, what is he thinking to himself? He's standing next to, he's acting with Ryan. I mean, it was amazing. Me and my son watched it. I'm like, good for him, man. That's fucking great. In any event, I'm on the way to the table read. I was living in Tribeca at the time. They go, oh, by the way, there's a list of guys who are going to be there. It's you, De Niro, Scorsese, Pesci, Keitel. I'm going, what? Why? Oh, Why? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, um, uh, uh, who else is there? Pacino there? Pacino oh, yeah. sat next to me. He had the glasses. Uh, De Niro's sitting here. Pacino's sitting there reaching, talking to each other. I'm going, I don't fucking believe <laughs> this. Yeah, man. <laughs> yeah, I know. And, he's, and, he, and then he would say, like, what, what's this word? Over here? <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> and then Al's going, leave him alone. Le read the words. I don't, I'm going, I can't believe it. Pesci, uh, it was, was it was surreal. Yeah, it was surreal. Was so that was one of the times where they were offering me a role and I wasn't available. Oh man, what was the role? Do you remember? It was a small role. It was not even a role. You know, I would have done it because of Scorsese, but it wasn't a role that was you know. Yeah. Um, and when you're in a movie with those guys, it's kind of hard to pop. Uh, yeah. You know what I mean? But you want to work with Scorsese. Yeah. Yeah. You know, you want you want to be around Scorsese. I know, yeah. like when he did the freaking he did the you talking about last night on stage about doing the scene with De Niro and Pesci. How do you not be like this is like I'd be this can't be real. This is like yeah, truly surreal. surreal right yeah, but now. I didn't feel for a second that you felt intimidated. No, I didn't. Because as an actor, I could always see, you always uh -huh. see the signs when a guy's nervous, right? Really? Yes. And I never got the like I never got the feeling you didn't think you belonged there. Oh yeah, well. It should have been there maybe the first take. Uh, it was, <laughs> <laughs> no, for me it was it was it was surreal. I mean, like just like you're sitting there with all those guys, and, and we grew you know, up with yeah, we grew up with them. And next thing you know, you're doing a movie with them. But is there ever a movie role that you passed on that that similar to the Scorsese, like oh, I'm I'm not available that you wanted to do, but you weren't available to do it. That went and the movie went on to success. Like do you ever. Kick yourself in the ass. Go, oh fuck! I wish I would have took taken no, the role. No, I'm not. Listen, I'm not Matt Damon. You know, I'm not getting those kind of movies where I'd go, I, I pass because there's probably not anything, excuse me, behind it that I would pass for, right? Yeah. But there have been movies where I was so it was me and the other guy. For instance, Green Book. You know the movie Green yeah, Book? Was it won Oscars? You were in it. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, you're in it. <laughs> Every movie's talking about it. It's nice. That's there. So Nick, you know Nick? I know Nick. Well, we we're going to do another movie together. He comes up. I'm not this all house. He comes and goes, Frank Grillo, I can't believe you're sitting here. I go, me either. And he says, I was just up at CAA. I have a movie. And by the way, lots of guys come up and go, I got a movie. Yeah. And, uh, and he goes, it's about my father. And my father loved you, and we were up at CAA just talking about you. I said, oh, well, that's very nice. I mean, send me the script. It's Green Book. And I, and I read the script, and I go, holy shit, this is amazing. Mm -hmm. So I call my agent. I go, dude, you have to read this. He goes, no, no. He goes, we're already into it. They, they really, he goes, you're one of one. They really want you. Uh, and, oh, my God, who directed the film? Uh, Farley. Bobby Farley. They go, uh, well, they're going to set up a call with you and Farley. I said, wow, Farley's directing this movie? That's like a, a stretch for him, but he's great. And uh, you'll talk to Bobby, and we're going to make a deal. I said, oh, wow, this is great. And, and then they told me who was playing the other guy, and I was like, oh, this, is, this, has, this has pedigree all over it, right? Three days pass, and I don't hear anything. And I, I call my agent. I go, what's going on with Green? But goes, oh, it's, it's, we don't think it's anything. It's... Uh, Bobby's talking to uh, 
Uh, Vigo. Vigo. I said, Vigo? It's an Italian guy. I said, Vigo? I mean, I love Vigo. Vigo's amazing, but Vigo's not right for this movie. They go, no, we don't think he's going to do it. It's small and, and uh, well, there you go. There's the rest of the story. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> and I knew, I knew in my heart of hearts, like that was going to be a special film. Right. And you were in that one too, you son of a <laughs> bitch. <laughs> <laughs>